Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you're here, my name is Lee Borossi. I do all kinds of motherhood related videos. I do TTC videos, I do cleaning videos, I do home making type of videos over here and I document my life as a mother living in Spain. I uh, today have a super exciting video. I recently went shopping for Natalie's spring and summer wardrobe, mainly spring items this time, but I wanted to share with you as soon as possible because because all these items are new in Primark and if you are looking for some affordable spring fashion for your toddler girls then now is the time to go and now is the time to head over there because all of the shelves are restocked and they have all the nice summer spring clothes out now so don't waste time just trust me on this you don't want to lose the chance to get your sizing go now and you will thank me later and I will be sharing all the prices as well um, first I'm gonna start off with my basics. Uh, a few of these items I will be including in her Easter basket. For example, I did pick up kind of like an Easter outfit for her that I am planning on having her wear for um, Easter time. So I think I will do so I, w I think I will include those few items in her Easter basket and I want to tell you also that I have if it's not already up on my channel I have a collaboration no okay this video probably will go live this Friday so hmm, tomorrow <laughs> I think this video is going up tomorrow if so I have a, an additional video coming live on Sunday where I share what I got my toddler for Easter this year So I will be sharing her Easter basket and it's a collaboration video and I'm super excited about it So a couple of these items I will be including in my Easter basket as well, but She is in desperate need of some basics and I feel like I need to film this because I want her to be able to wear the clothes <laughs> So let's get started um, last year I did the same. Around Easter time I went to my Primark, I went to H&M and a few other places and picked up basically all of her summer wardrobe. And I like to do this um, twice a year. Usually I go in the end of summer to stock up for winter and then also if they have... Because normally when summer is finishing or when, depending on the season, the season that are finishing, those items will be heavily discounted. So if I find something for example for next Christmas now for example if I go and I see some Christmas items that I really really like that are this heavily discounted then I will buy I will size up one or two sizes for her to be able to wear next Christmas and that's usually how I'm able to stick to a very limited budget but also being able to dress my toddler in fun things not only like the basics um, so that's a little tip for you guys so now you should start if you go now you should try and see if they are discounting anything that could be useful for you for maybe autumn and winter time next season that is and to size up that way you will have a little pile stocked for when they do grow out of things and when the season change so now it's currently about 25 degrees here where I am, Celsius in, in Spain, during the day. But in the morning and in, in the evening and at night it's super cold. So we are like in between. You need a jacket but you don't need a jacket and it's quite difficult to, to dress them. So layering is key. So I usually try to put her in a light pair of leggings, a, a short sleeve t-shirt and then I will put a cardigan and then I will put kind of a, like a jacket on top or I will put a vest and then a jacket so when she comes to kindergarten we can just take off her jacket and then when she starts to get, get warmer and warmer during the day they just can just take off layers basically. So I was in need of a few new uh, leggings because her leggings are getting too short now. She's growing, um, she's getting taller but she's not getting any wider so I'm scared that these leggings are gonna be too big. We shall see. Um, I did buy the wrong size initially so I had to go back and change them. But so I needed a few pairs of leggings and a few no new uh, like t-shirts. The one she has is getting way too small on her. So the first few t-shirts that I picked up, I just love the design of them. Looks like this. They have this ruffling detail and I think it's just so, so cute. I like, I will remove the sticker for you to see better, but I picked up the size uh, three to four years for her. She will be three in May, so hoping that she can wear this all summer long and maybe also even a little bit into fall. But I like the ruffling detail, I think that they will look cute with pants, with shorts, with like uh, 
uh, even dress like a dress on top you know with the strappy thingies or just layering basically but they have the details so it's not boring it's not just a plain white t-shirt if you know what I mean but looks super comfortable and I always try to pick up clothes that are um, cotton based because we are um, sensitive skin type of family so I need to have all my clothes be organic cotton or cotton to not have reactions so I'm trying to do the same for her and I know that H&M do really good organic cotton clothes but anyway I also picked it up in soft pink because I know that she loves pink she's in this phase where she only wants to wear pink so I need to include like one item at least in her outfit that has the color pink so those two t-shirts if I find something that I like I usually try and buy it in multiple colors or even in a couple of different sizes so I have one for now and one for later also let's take a moment how do you, how do you appreciate my little spring decor going on right here I'm trying to set the mood um, I haven't decorated at all for spring and I still even have a couple of Christmassy things in corners <laughs> tucked away what I, I need to take down to the storage but Anyway, side note, this is a, a more like a sportive t-shirt that I picked up. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention the price. The t-shirts were 250, the one with the ruffles. And this one, this was 2 euros. They had, I don't know how many, but like 10 different, des different designs on the t-shirts. I just like to have my basics uh, being in colors that are easy to wash, but it's impossible for girls to find things that are like more neutral so I picked up this white t-shirt with a pink uh, leopard kind of heart it's sportive yet comfortable and it's uh, quite cute I think be awesome every day it says and she is she is awesome every day <laughs> so this kind of t-shirt I know that she will get a lot of use out of but it also a little bit fun for her okay and uh, probably the most boring thing that I bought was the leggings. I picked up two pairs of two packs of leggings, the basic black ones. And these are three to four years old. I think that they're gonna be quite big on her. I think maybe they're gonna be too wide. If so, I will have to save them for maybe next season, we shall see. But I paid five euros for, for two pair of leggings. And I also picked up a pair of pink ones and grey ones. And I'm thinking that you can mix and match all the pieces that I'm picking up. So quite affordable for four leggings. I paid 10 euros. I think that was a good price. And now to my Easter outfit. This is the one that I think I will include in her Easter basket. I picked up this cotton dress, super cute for summer. In spring I'm gonna layer it with a cardigan and with some leggings, but in summer she can wear it just as it is. Even when we go to the beach or if we go down to the pool, she can be comfortable in this. And it's the same size, three to four years old. I paid, uh, or years of age, I paid four euros for it and it's this kind of uh, marine type of print with cherries on it and I really like that it has this ruffling detail on the sleeves that's really flattering I think when you have it on and kind of like a swoop neck like this um, and I, I know that she will look cute in this she looks always good in dresses and the cotton dresses they just suit her really well so with this I want to add a cardigan and I found this super adorable yellow cardigan for um, what I would think is very suitable for spring but also for Easter. And it has this super adorable like ruffly type of hem I think it's called. And it's a li slightly longer in the back, not a lot but slightly longer in the back. And the arms are super cute not too fitted and I think that's a, that's good but they have uh, uh, this hem here that makes it a little bit it's not gonna fall over her hands if they are too long and you can just fold it up if you need it to be shorter this one I picked up in a size bigger I picked it up in size four to five years old 
This is 110 centimeters and the, only, the other ones are 104 and I thought that could be a good idea because I don't mind if they are a little bit long on her and the arms you can just fold or the sleeves you can just fold them and that way this, this cardigan she can use it for even until maybe next spring. That's the idea. So this, this together on top of the dress is gonna be her Easter outfit and if she let me do anything to her hair, I would be very grateful. <laughs> I like to put her uh, in pigtails and that kind of thing or even with a bow, but she normally just rips it out after a while. I also picked up one more cardigan because this kind of cardigans is very useful now when it's warm but it's not hot and you know you need to layer them. Um, but you also want to be able to take them off. So I picked it up in this really really pretty dust uh, dusty pink kind of color and this has also ruffles but on the shoulders so I think they are supposed to be like the same kind of cardigan but just with the ruffles in different places so it's a little bit like you're changing up your outfit by changing the colors but and the, and the, um, the placement of the ruffles so I mean they are the same thing but they look, they look very different and this pink looks very nice on her, it's my favorite pink and she likes it so I know that she's gonna be happy with this um, so they are a size, size too big but I think that's gonna be very smart because then I can use it for longer and her daddy of course also wanted to spoil his daughter so when he saw these next two items he was like I need to get her these they are so cute and it's the same thing but we picked it up in uh, two different colors they had oh and the cardigans were seven euros they were a little bit more expensive also that's why I wanted to size up because I want her to be able to use it longer so each cardigan was seven euros um, <clears throat> so these are the thing the little um, tops that her daddy thought would look very nice on her. I think this was the first he picked up, picked up and uh, I like it. It's 4 euros. We picked it up in a size 3 to 4 years old, 104 centimeters. Uh, but for 4 euros I feel like this is super adorable and it has this button detail on the back so you cr you can close it like this in the neck and they have the ruffles and the cute uh, uh, flower print and she looks really really good in mustard so this is gonna look super adorable on her but I said if you're gonna pick up two you have to take one that is a little bit more neutral at least just one color because then I can mix and match with more things so we decided to go with this corally pink style as well and I don't know which one is gonna look the best on her but I like both if I would have been the one deciding the colors I probably would have chosen this and a white or maybe the uh, like the marine blue like darker blue kind of that's like the same as the dress basically um, because they had I think four or five different colors and they were all super adorable I think they had like three different pr with prints and three basic colors so I think it was white coral and blue and then was the mustard with flowers and then was red with flowers and then I think one more pink style so if they look good on her and if she's comfortable with this maybe even I will pick up one more color because that's what I like to do when I find something yeah, that's suit, suiting her like um, that she's that she feels good in it then I like to pick up more um, instead of just finding new things that maybe is not gonna suit her as much so that's all for the clothes I did pick up two pairs of shoes as well and these ones I'm probably gonna include in her Easter basket I'm not sure yet at least one of the pairs I will include in the Easter basket uh, because that's what I did last year and I thought well would be fun for her. So I picked up these uh, sandals kind of um, in a white and jeans kind of blue. So these ones she's supposed to be able to wear without socks uh, or with socks. Um, and I'm thinking if she's wearing a dress and she's wearing you know stockings then I think these ones could be really good or if she's just barefoot inside of them but I think that in summer they're gonna be too warm so this is like seriously spring shoes um, but I need her to try them on because this is a size 24 European sizing so that would be a size 8 I think in America 
um, and I know that they are probably gonna be a little bit big on her, so I need to I need to try them on. We ran out of battery there for a second, <laughs> so this is gonna be her spring shoes, and I'm hoping that she's gonna be able to use them also in kindergarten. I'm hoping that they're not gonna give her any blisters or anything like that, so I want to start using them as soon as possible. Maybe I will have to change for a smaller size. We shall see. She has quite skinny feet, but she has like me a really big or a very long big toe. <laughs> TMI. Uh, I don't like to share that fact about myself because I'm quite conscious about my feet. But anyway, I don't. I have nice feet, but my big toe is a little bit too big. Um, so mm, anyway, she have. Uh, she has gotten that from me, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Natalie. <laughs> um, but I also picked up this summery sandals for her that she can start using now in spring, but also will be carrying over into summer. And she have had this type of sandals before. I know that they are nice on her feet. Um, and the color was just so adorable. It reminds me of a rainbow or kind of like a unicorn theme because of the, the pink, the purple and the sparkly blue. And I know that she's gonna like them because they are so girly, like she. And the same size, size 24. This one I think if they are a little bit too big is not gonna be a problem because they are open toe um, and you can adjust if you wish, I think, or maybe not. Yes, I think you can adjust the straps, so should work. Um, as I said, she has been wearing something similar before. So that's all for my haul, friends. And the shoes I paid seven euros for, and the six euros for this six euros, seven euros. So quite a nice haul for my little girl. I'm hoping that she's gonna be very happy with her spring clothes. I know I like to spoil her and I like to buy her new things and I wish I could find the same cute things for me but let's see. Uh, let's be honest, every time I go to shop for myself I only buy things for her. <laughs> so that's that's how life goes and uh, I'm enjoying my hat. I'm using it again now in this video. I feel like it gives that little extra funness to my video so give it a thumbs up if you like the things that I picked up subscribe if you are new and if you haven't checked out any of my TTC videos please do that before you leave and if you are in the same boat if you're trying to t if you are TTC or if you are pregnant let me know I would love to follow you and be along for your journey as well and uh, with all that being said thank you for watching and I see you guys in my next video take care bye